Oh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, reclass uh, uh, already categorized expense transactions in batch, not one, you know, like uh, uh, in batch, uh, multiple transactions. Uh, you know, so I'm going to go to uh, QuickBooks Online and uh, uh, I'm going to uh, go over uh, uh, vendor expenses. Okay, so I'm on QuickBooks Online, my demo account. So let's just go to the expenses and from the left dashboard, go to expenses and select vendors. Okay, let's just take the first one here, uh, select a source of vendor, which one you want to, uh, you know, uh, reclass to different account from one account to another. Okay, I have all these transactions, and uh, as you can see, uh, this one is going to advertising promotion, and the other one is going to computer and, you know, um, other accounts. Let's say you just want to categorize to just one account. Uh, then you can do it from here. Uh, that's the batch, uh, batch uh, categorization. But if you have, like, a... Uh, split one like this one is split going to two, um, more than one account you can categorize uh, uh, there's no way to uh, categorize expense transaction in batch if you have if you already have a split transaction but split transaction you have to still open and uh, uh, change the account number account category so let's just say uh, you want to do these uh, certain expense transactions you know like you can select, you can even filter all the, the expense transactions in here. Okay, so let's just say you want to uh, filter, uh, you know, just do the uh, this one and this one, let's say, and this one and this one. Let's just say you want to uh, reclassify to, let's say, uh, some other account, let's say cost of goods sold. All you have to do is select those transa uh, uh, transactions from the vendor uh, file and just click the, under the batch action, just select categorize, select it, and select whatever account you want. Let's just say what you want to do it for the cost of goods sold account. Okay, just want to do this one, let's say. All right, just apply it. Now done, see? So you did all uh, all four, you know, there's one batch click, you know. Uh, so that's why it's very important when you categorize your uh, transaction from the bank feeds, it's very important that you select uh, uh, your, your uh, select your vendor, you know. Like the example, let's say, if you just, you know, don't select your vendor, you can't do the batch reclass, you know. So it's very important that you select the uh, pay, uh, and uh, go from there, you know. Uh, so you can do the create a rule and uh, the you know select the uh, select the vendor. That's why it says in here. See if you don't select any vendor, you know, they will say it's a recommended type. See, it's recommended, you know. That's why they're saying it's recommended, you know. Uh, so if you select a vendor, uh, vendor pay, then or even for customer too. Uh, then it helps to uh, reclassify to some other account if you need it, you know, in the future. So it could happen. So that's the focus of this video. Uh, so you know how to uh, reclass uh, expense transactions uh, uh, in batch now. All right. Thank you for watching this video.